everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new hi I'm Caitlin uh, welcome subscribe please thanks uh, today we are going to be doing something that I've never actually done before so this is new to me we're going to be doing a pan that palette video now you already know what the palette is probably by the thumbnail so today well not today in the next few months however long it takes we're going to be trying to pan the sweet peach palette by Too Faced. So I'm wearing this palette on my eyes today, messed up the cut crease but we're going to ignore it. So this is what the inside looks like, if I can hold it right. I feel like everyone in their grandmother knows what this palette looks like. It's such a classic, it's a staple in so many people's kits. Um, I bought this, used it twice, dug a nail into that shade, that's the only reason that that's got a dent in it. Uh, yeah, use it back twice, never used it again. Uh, it's just been sitting in my drawer for probably about two years and that's really bad. Like that is genuinely. So this smells so good. Everyone says it's supposed to smell of peaches. I think, you know when you were little you had them like necklaces and then like bracelets made of like palmer violet kind of sweets. I think it smells more like that. Just my opinion. That's that's what comes to mind when I smell this. So the reason I chose this palette to pan or attempt to pan is because you get such a good choice of colours in here. You've got your neutrals, you've got your like pops of colour, you've got your deeper tones and I think it would be perfect for everyday looks or more glam looks so whatever I'm doing that day I could hopefully use it and utilise it to what I kind of want I did do some swatches of this palette so I'll put them like here the only thing is there is quite a lot of pink tones and I'm really not a pink person so that might you know that might mm. <laughs> I'll try my best though but I'll zoom you in and show you the look that I created today so these are my eyes, ignore the lashes, they're not even, but we're looking at the colour, we're not looking at the how well I've done it. So as you can see I have used more of the neutral tones today, with a gloss of course. So in the crease I have used Charmed I'm Sure, which is this top corner brown shade. And then on top of that I used Puree, which is this very warm shade here. And then on my actual cut crease, I used Luscious here, and I also used Nectar, which is down here. And I kind of blended it all out with Peaches and Cream. So I can see myself using that look quite a lot. Oh, I haven't done my browns. Brill. Oh well. Pretend that they're on. So yeah, that's the kind of look and the outlay that I'll probably be going for more. Um, but yeah I'll just show you what the palette looks like now as like a starting base thing <laughs> so here is the palette as you can see I have dug a nail into the black shade I really wish that the black was a matte but it's not it is a shimmer um, a really intense <laughs> shimmer like it just keeps going but no if it was a matte I'd be able to like deepen up looks but it's obviously not I do remember doing a look with the green so maybe I'll kind of utilize that a little bit the purples I'm gonna play around with it's gonna make me a lot more creative Um, yeah so obviously this is one look that I have made with it I will insert some more looks that I have done with it. So this is another look that I've done with the Sweet Peach palette. It's very messy, <laughs> but just leave it alone. Okay, leave it. I had a bit of a mental breakdown doing this one because the shades Talk Derby to Me and Tempting are the most fallouty shades I've ever worked with in my life. Never used them before apart from doing this. Um, future Caitlin, if you're watching, do your eyes first, okay? The amount of layers of foundation I have on my cheeks right now, that's kind of why the bottom lash is. It's good, right? So yeah, this look was done with Tempting here, the black shade, and talked it, woo, dip my finger in it. 
Talk Derby to Me, which is here. Uh, that's on the lid and then blended up. And then Charmed, I'm sure, was blended just above that. And then I used White Peach, which is the corner shade here, just to go on top of my brow bone. Brows still aren't done. That's just how I'm living right now. Quarantine, innit? <laughs> so yeah, I'm sure I can get a lot of other very unique looks with this palette. So yeah, we'll see. Back to past Caitlin. Okay, that is everything from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Wish me luck. I've never tried anything like this before, so hopefully it goes well. Uh, and I will see you next week for another video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.